Today we come to you from the oldest and shortest track in NASCAR, Martinsville Speedway. Hello everyone, I'm Rick Allen. They call this place the paperclip due to its shape. For over 60 years, NASCAR drivers have struggled to nail down the right setup to go both fast and be able to pass. What's up YouTube, this is AB Gaming here of NASCAR Heat Evolution Career Mode Season 2 at um, Martinsville. We're racing, we qualified first or at pole and we're racing against Edwards and Kyle Bush. So I'm trying to rear hop as much as possible without getting into the wall. I'm just going to throw out one little spoil. It's going to be one intense race with me and Edwards to the very end. And I know I'm gonna say some crazy nonsense throughout the commentary, but that's how I am regularly. And you see, Kyle Busch is still winning the race with three, basically three laps in, trying to get back into force as fast as possible without wrecking the vehicle or we're hopping too much. See, we gotta have the gas too much right there. Next race will be at Texas. But this video will be uploaded th um, this Saturday, December 10th, 2016. And hopefully you guys will like this video. And trying to figure out how to get my voice into the race on the racetrack without editing my voice into the video without with off topic commentary or just a regular commentary and you can see I got loose I basically drove the high side right there still make it still got it in fourth place with Kyle Bush still second trying to pin him off and again I let off the gas right there give Kyle Bush a lead a little bit but that's how Marsville is you got a wheel hop you got to um, push the vehicle in front of you to make him loose Nose him as much as possible without wrecking him or getting yourself wrecked. And this is only three times wheel of fuel and tires. I'm getting trimmed down to two times normal, especially the tires because the right front tires always been having a problem ever since this game has been uh, released. They need to fix that in the update. I don't know if they will do that. But that's the main driving wheel tire for um, for any type of NASCAR game. It's the right front. So I'm staying forced. I'm checking my tire pressage, uh, tire percentage. We have 27 laps to go. We're basically good on fuel. We have that three times wheel on fuel, so it doesn't use uh, use so much of tire ah, a few but it does roll down on tires quite a bit as we nudged uh, Eric Jones now we are in uh, owing to the lap traffic we still we let we have 10 out of 35 um, basically on lap 10 going to lap 11 it's really still trying to battle through on uh, the back side of the field trying to get them lapped without having any cautions or you can see Carl Edwards is there wide behind me he's one of the fastest um, calls in this tra uh, in this game especially on Martinsville you can't really beat him if he has a good top five um, qualifying position you can see I notched I think I notched a little bit of Car Danny Carpatrick right there Still that wheel hop. You probably see more of that later in this race with me. Wheel hopping, braking, all the good stuff. I'm trying to get Carl Edwards' fall back from me so I won't have to race him that much. See, I nudged Wayne Blaine a little bit. Try not to wreck him. I nudged him back so he won't wreck. As I'm uh, with 28 laps, that's a few basically we are still good to go 
We stay in forced. We have 22 laps to go and trying to do a mini rear hop, trying to get past uh, David Reagan, Chris Bosho, and Mike Arnett. And try and nudge, or oh, basically their braking track, a little bit their little mini rear hop, nudge Kyle, Chris Bosho. Well, almost said Kyle, but I self correct myself, saying Chris Bosho said. And you can see Edwards is still behind me. He's way too good for this racetrack. I've seen I can let him through. Now there's only 20, basically 20 laps to go. You can see there's a little tire smoke or brake smoke ahead of us, but we went through with no problems. And we're going to turn four, still behind. Or basically ahead of Carl Edwards that is behind me as we're uh, getting on to Armandego Brian Scott that is retiring still basically retired now after one year with Richard Petty Motorsports so that 44 is still vacant they haven't there hasn't really been any news yet who's gonna fill in the 44 for next year for 2017 so we're gonna be trying to nudge Jimmy Johnson. Somehow he's not performing as well for this race because he's doing 25th. So trying to do a real hop, like a big one. Trying to nudge uh, Jimmy Johnson to my outside. And we have about 17 laps to go. We have still good time on fuel, but the tires are just running down, wearing down. I see. Uh, right front is 62 percent that's the only time I'm worried about it's right there and we trying to uh, nudge my down and trying and try and get him loose on basically nudge him so he won't wreck behind me or to the right side of me but we cleared him you can see Carl Edwards is still behind us but behind Matt as we go and begin Try and get in front of Casey Mills that is now has no why because Ty Dillon went into the number 13 Jermaine Racing Gecko call for next year. And <clears throat> there has been recent rumors that Dodge has been trying to make a return to NASCAR. And I'm going to say some stuff about it. It's the only time they have. Last time they won a championship, it was back in 2012, and Penske was with still with Dodge before they moved went to Ford the next following season. I'm gonna say they could go, they could come back in the NASCAR Premier Series, or that's the Monster Energy Series. It used to be Spin Cup Series. The only two teams I I could think of that could go. Uh, to dodge is either Richard Petty or um, Chip Ganassi. If they do come back to dodge, even though they did went from dodge to Chevrolet, when Juan Pablo was still in there, as we wrecked one, as we wrecked Pablo Bonnie, give him a little nudge, or basically a nudge. But hopefully there's no caution. As we got fun of. Um, Past Eric Jones, there's still no caution. We have 11 laps to go. You can see I'm still, still trying to rear hop as much, try not to, but that's how Monsville is with the rear hopping. You got past Mike McDowell and try to get past Greg Biffle that has no wide for next season. And he might not have one. We're trying to battle Ryan Newman, trying to get him lapped down. We have about nine laps to go, becoming basically nine laps to go. Seems like it. See Biffle still battling and Edwards, former teammates. Now there's nine laps to go. Trying to battle Ryan Newman, trying to get him a lap down. We're hopping. You can see we're getting lap down to Patrick once more. You can see Edwards is pushing me. So you can give me a nudge in the right direction, either wrecking me or passing 
Danica Patrick right there and trying to get in front of Regan Smith that is basically one again one part time for next year for TBR they, they just released a lease or charter to the number I don't know who was it, it was like number 95 so the number no so the number 95 in Levine Family Racing will be four time to make so Mac, Michael McDowell will won four time Yes, later or earlier in this week, uh, H. Scott Motorsports that owns the 46 and the 15 has ceased operations in their uh, in the premier series of NASCAR. That's Monster Energy Series. You can see Edwards is right, still right behind me with only six laps to go, becoming five. Next lap, trying battle, trying to keep him behind me. I don't know how far I can keep him behind me without. Wrecking him or wreck him wrecking me. You can see the tire wheel, basically, the tire wheel is basically getting worn off pretty quickly during these cr uh, closing laps. See, Edwards is only 0 0.4, 0 0.5 now behind us. He's still good race um, behind me. You can see Tony Stewart's right there. Had to dodge him. There was no caution. That's kind of weird. Now Edwards is staying in front again. Nudge him, nudge him again. I don't know why I just nudged him again. That was basically the biggest um, course I've just put on myself because now he is only 0.3 seconds behind me. Cause I nudged him and then I nudged him again, and that caused him to get back in control of his vehicle. It's only 10 laps to go. 10 laps. I estimated fuel. Now we see my front and back bumper is becoming low, low or green. It's only two laps to go. You can see Truex is right in front of us, trying to get him lapped as much as possible without having Edwards bumping us or bumping us into uh, Truex. Now we are still racing for forced. Last lap, all for nothing. You can see I got loose and. Hit the wall right there, and now Edwards is in force. I'm trying to get it into force again. Try to nudge him, get a high line, rail bump, and that didn't work. Try to nudge him again, nothing, and we're gonna finish second. Came close to winning our first race of the season, or basically a second uh, race of our career, but we came close. But luckily, hopefully, we can turn this around and get this uh, first place in Texas. And that's all I would have to say. Uh, be sure to leave a like or a comment below and subscribe for more. And that's all I have to really say for now. And see you later.